Good morning, Facebook. Everybody watching on the internet. It's Blind Justice in Aberdeen, Washington, on the sidewalk in front of City Hall. This is day 14 of our peaceful protest. Resting is not a crime because uh, the city council here and the mayor passed a couple ordinances a few weeks ago now. One of them is the sit lie ordinance that outlaws sitting or lying on public sidewalks in the downtown area, like I've been doing for the last few weeks, and others have joined me. The other ordinance uh, tries to outlaw soliciting in specific areas around town and other stipulations like that. So they both have fines uh, or tickets that carry fines with them. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. The latest update we had from City Hall regarding the ordinances was a memo that came from the mayor's office to the local police department, the APD, and it basically spells out guidelines, like executive guidelines on how to enforce uh, the, specifically the sit lie ordinance. So the memo is available on the page here. We got uh, an email from Patrice, the city attorney, so thank you for reaching out, initiating that, that's great. And we posted it on on the page so everybody can, can check it out for themselves and see what exactly it is. It's pretty, it's supposed to give clearance or clarification on terms, but really it expanded the terms to a point where it makes it even more vague uh, on what constitutes you know, a medical emergency and what, uh, you know, <laughs> and some other aspects that are that are pretty fuzzy. Uh, one of those aspects being the, quote, two-week grace period, right? So there's a two-week grace period. And maybe if uh, somebody can double-check the memo, see if it specifically says when it starts, when it ends, like dated time or whatever, or started from the day of this memo, or started from the day of publication of the ordinance like I'm not sure if it says that so if somebody could double check that but either way the point of it is there is a grace period and then just like periods end the sentence says hey how's it going all right I'm just doing a quick update on this once I'll talk to you in a minute okay if you don't mind thanks brother so um, so a period like has a start date and end date right periods at the end of a sentence and where is the start date end date? Kind of fuzzy. But the concept of a grace period, that, that grace has an expiration date, is um, sad. <laughs> a big truck going by. Um, yeah, so I think, I just, just wanted to mention that, you know, grace period thing, expiration date. And just maybe get some comments from you guys. What are your thoughts about grace? Does grace expire? Uh, can grace run out? Or is it something that we can have an abundance for everybody and collectively pool our collective grace and and learn how to allocate that uh, wisely as, as a resource we have. It's a natural resource. It's grace that we have an abundance of. We just have to learn how to allocate it and, and issue it out freely, like I mentioned before, with the open hand uh, concept, right? If you, if you go through life with your hand open that you can receive, right? You can receive a job, you can receive different things, and then you can give your labor, right? You can give and take, you can receive and you can give freely, but if you, as soon as you're like reaching and grasping, and then you clinch it, right, a lot of times it falls through your fingers, or if you're trying to give out, now you're trying to give out with a fist instead of with an open hand. So, grace is just one of those things that we have um, available to us all the time. We have grace for ourselves. I think that's part of the underlying issue is that a lot of people have, have, haven't really learned to give grace to themselves. They feel like they need to punish themselves and hurt themselves for whatever. So then it's harder for them to give grace to others. The whole love your neighbor as yourself. Well, if you don't love yourself or have grace for yourself, 